Hi, this is Steve here. Um, yeah, uh, continuing with the Ingram Hartford. I uh, just put the, the new dial on. Um, this is a paper dial. It's uh, a trademark dial. Um, got it on there really nice. Um, this clock actually had a Roman numeral dial, so that's what I replaced it with. Uh, now to put these on, it's a little tricky. Um, as you've seen in my previous videos, um, I prepared the pan. I spray painted the pan to get rid of the rust and everything. And then uh, what I've done is um, you you have to uh, wet the dial. I use a spray a sprayer. You wet it so it just soaks into the paper. <clears throat> Then you mix up some just some white school glue like elmer school glue and you dilute it with water about you know 15 20 percent to make it really creamy and then you smear that all over the the back of the wet dial and you put that also on the pan and then uh, it becomes quite flimsy so what you have to do is be careful <laughs> you don't damage it uh, but then you lay it on the pan and you can move it around. I got it pretty well centered there. Uh, and then I haven't cut my uh, winding arbor hole yet because that's going to take a little bit of doing when I mount the movement. And then um, you can squeegee it. You can squeegee all the um, <clears throat> oil, uh, the oil, the glue out from under the wet dial. Okay, and then you got to, what I use is... Uh, the flat side of bubble wrap, like you, 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 you squeegee out the glue from the edges and then you, uh, not squeegee, but like just with a soft damp rag, you just push the glue out evenly and then, uh, it'll ooze out the edge. Of course, you want to mop that up. And then, uh, I put the flat side of bubble wrap in about five or six layers. And then I started laying stuff on top a pail and then, uh, I loaded weights on the pail and uh, I used tools to hold down every corner because it, it, it'll dry up and curl up. You can't leave it to dry on its own. You got to add a little mild pressure and then uh, it goes on perfect. It's, it's, it, it, it's perfect, like uh, uh, perfectly flat. If you don't, it'll curl and then you'll have to do it all again. So uh, I was just at my horologist yesterday, and he's 95% done my movement. He's having a little issue with the escapement. So, uh, if you recall, I refinished that uh, Ingram um, Western Union for him. So, he rebuilt the movement for this for me for free, and it's totally done, 100%. Now, getting back to my Ansonia, or uh, my uh, Sessions number one regulator. I went over with the movement yesterday, and uh, he's got another clock for me to finish, a jaunch uh, wall clock. So I'm going to do that for him, and he's going to rebuild, totally rebuild the movement on this. So uh, I was just going to have him replace one pinion and one bushing, but uh, he says, well, if you want it done right, you got to do everything. So uh, he talked me into it. So I, I got another case to refinish for him, a jaunch wall clock, which is very nice. Has a nice silver dial and everything. And then uh, he's going to rebuild the movement for me. And it's, it won't take long. It's it's in really good shape. Here's the here's the case hardware all polished and everything. And uh, I don't know if you can see here. You can see the the sheen on the on the wood I got there just from waxing. I just waxed the case on this. There's a pretty good finish on it. Look at how beautiful that turned out. So, uh, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I had to glue the case all together and re-nail everything because it was all falling apart. But I did that. It took me about an hour. And then, uh, it's going to be really nice when it's done. Um, like I said, I bought this, I bought this clock in Niagara Falls for $10, so. And it's, uh, it's quite big. It's bigger than I thought, but, uh, beautiful, uh. Beautiful little clock, and I just pinned the, the dial in there with uh, 
little stick pin there just to hold it so see what it looks like. I'm gonna put the glass back in with the top glass in it today that is uh, uh, that's in not the best shape but I'm gonna to touch it up and uh, I'm gonna get a lower glass cut for it so that's gonna be really nice so there's my uh, my Ingram Hartford just waiting for a movement so we're four screws away from a clock so and it's it's pretty stunning looking at look at the sheen on that i got a beautiful finish on that from the paste wax and the four out steel wool and uh look at the beautiful woodwork i got it all cleaned and everything very nice it looks it doesn't look super brand new but it when the movement's rebuilt it's it's going to run 100 years it's it's i'm just so happy with it so that's the update on the ingram hartford Talk to you later, bye.